Hi, I'm Bobby Balicki from the National Electrical Manufacturers Association, better known as NEMA. Thanks to the U.S. Department of Energy, we are proud to present Bids for Grids, new media for the energy workforce. In partnership with George Mason University and NEMA members, we've developed a series of short educational videos introducing electrical equipment that's used in the smart grid, the electrical grid for the 21st century. This series is going to present a dozen of the most important products that are critical to a smart grid success. Our mission is simple, to make you more aware of smart grid technologies and help you consider a career in power engineering. This edition of Bids for Grids takes us to Dallas, Texas, where we will visit Nexan and Encore, who are working on dynamic line rating, a vital part of the smart grid. Here we are in Dallas, Texas, home of Encore, one of the country's largest transmission and distribution utilities. Thanks to Nexan, who manufactures dynamic line rating systems, we're going to learn where they are applied in real-world smart grid applications. So let's go take a look. Encore is the sixth largest utility in the, in the nation and the largest utility in Texas and our primary business is to transfer power from a generator to a consumer. Generators are typically located uh, a great distance from consumers so to get power from the generator to the consumer we have to build a transmission path to transfer the power from the generator to the consumer. Based on the size of the consumers and the load that they need we can therefore design the amount of capacity that needs to be transferred across the circuit. A transmission line capacity is, is based on worst case weather conditions that are expected to be seen on that transmission line. Anytime this weather is exceeded, the line will heat up to a capacity such that it gets close to exceeding safety clearances to the ground. So the transmission line is governed by the temperature at which it can safely carry any amount of capacity to a customer. A static line rating is a not to exceed value that is set to limit the amount of current that can safely throw through a transmission conductor. You can think of it as a speed limit on a highway. Anytime you're traveling down a road, there's a speed limit that governs how fast you can travel. Similarly, there's a limit that governs how much power can safely throw through a transmission conductor. Dynamic line ratings allow you to see the variability of the weather conditions across a transmission circuit and quantify that capacity that is there that you can safely push more current through the conductor without exceeding those safety limits. Nexans is a leader in dynamic line rating. It was the first to have an end-to-end -end solution all the way from the instrumentation on the transmission structures back through the communication links to the control center where it is presented to the operator of the grid enabling that operator to maximize the efficiency and reliability of the transmission grid. Um, smart grid by definition implies that there's intelligence applied to the grid. Uh, previously, there was no means of monitoring the performance of the transmission conductor itself, which is a key element to the grid. Uh, dynamic line ratings bring that intelligence and the visibility to know exactly how that conductor is performing and exactly how much capacity it can deliver to the marketplace. As Smart Grid continues to expand, we would anticipate a massive need for an increased number of engineers to support the sensors and the various designs of sensors, communications, applications technology, uh, to add the intelligence to the grid, and certainly at the manufacturing level, the engineering requirements to support production and quality in those products. Here at the uh, Encore's control room, uh, we take care of approximately a thousand substations and 14,000 miles of transmission line. Depending on when you come into our control room, you're gonna see different things on the board. In the middle of the summer, you're gonna see our top 10 loaded transformers. We may have over 300 substation transformers. And we've got lists up on the board that show the top 10 heavily loaded transformers. So we've got severe weather in the area. You're going to see a lot of weather maps. And you're going to see uh, weather systems moving through. And we know that if we have transmission lines trip, 
because of weather, we know that things operated correctly. One of the things they do here is they uh, monitor the voltage profile across our whole area and make sure we stay within the uh, agreed upon limits and, and limits that make sure we, uh, we're serving our customers. I, I take our system changes, our transmission grid system changes such as new stations, new transmission lines, uh, new switches, breakers, basically any new equipment. And uh, I model that in a software program that is submitted to uh, ERCOT, which is the Electric Reliability Council of Texas. Uh, we submit that to them three months before we expect to energize our equipment so they have a chance to study the impacts that it has on the bridge. As a college student, I learned all the fundamentals of electricity. I learned the fundamentals of learning. As since coming to Encore, I have actually been able to apply some of those fundamentals. Before I came to Encore, I had no idea what a dam line rating was. Uh, all of that was learned uh, as part of my, my job here at Encore. I learned uh, what DLRs do, I learned the benefits to the, the grid, benefits to Encore and uh, the benefits to the customers. As a new engineer in the power utility industry, uh, there's a lot of opportunity to be able to apply the emerging smart grid technologies to solve real life problems with the grid. Uh, due to the aging workforce uh, in, the, in the industry, there will be a, a growing opportunity for new engineers to, uh, to, to take a leadership role in the uh, application of these new technologies. There's a lot of discussion about green energy, renewable energy. Those things don't just happen. They take engineering thought and engineering implementation. And so here at Encore, a young engineer can be part of that team to implement renewables uh, and, and the whole spectrum of a smart grid. Well, the, the profile of engineers that Encore is interested in is, is obviously electrical because there's current involved but it's also mechanical because there are large structures involved. It's also civil because there's foundations and civil work and grading that has to be done. And then in addition to that, we're always working on our processes. So there's opportunities for industrial engineers and really anybody that likes science and math, we probably got a job for you. First of all, you know, I think engineers need to spend a few years and get a foundation in the fundamental sciences and the fundamental application of, of engineering tools. And then you can broaden into project management. And it's always good to go back and get exposed to business school things, MBA, that sort of thing, so you can understand the financial sides of, of things better. And then the, the opportunities here in the United States and then internationally are just completely open to you. Today we learned about dynamic line rating systems and how they improve the reliability and efficiency of the smart grid. DLR unlocked the latent capacity of transmission systems. From Dallas, Texas and Encore, one of the country's largest transmission and distribution utilities, on behalf of Nexans and NEMA, I'm Bobby Bullock.